Hello kitty queens and kitty beauties. As y'all can see, I'm bringing y'all another bomb client tutorial. You might want to go ahead and subscribe now if you haven't yet, but I'm going to start this tutorial off by cleaning her face. And to clean her face, I'm using some micellar water and I'm just taking it on this cotton pad. Then I'm going to go in and clean up her eyebrows using this eyebrow archer. And as y'all can see, her eyebrows are already perfect. Like she had perfect eyebrows, perfect skin. So I barely had to clean up anything because honey, the arch is very much there. Once I have the eyebrows cleaned up, I'm going to go in and fill them in with my Nika K black eyebrow pencil. I'm going to outline them first and then start filling them in, starting with the tail and then just lightly working my way to the front. I like to go over the eyebrows with the spoolie in just to make sure that everything is blended and as natural as possible. Then when I finally work my way to the front, I like to do little hair-like strokes to mimic the little hairs at the front. Now I'm just going to repeat every process on the other eyebrow. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. concealer in this new L.A. Colors Conceal It Concealer. We're going to take the lighter one, which was the L.A. Colors Concealer on the bottom. And y'all, I saw this concealer randomly at my dollar store and I was like, oh, let me try this out. Do not buy this because it was not good whatsoever. It's so sheer and the coverage on it is basically nothing. It may look good in this video from far away, but I'm telling y'all, do not buy this. Just stick to the LA Girl Pro. But for now, I'm just going to clean up the bottom of her eyebrows using this. Then when I get to the top, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer just because it's closer to her skin tone. Once the brows are clean, I'm going to buff out the excess concealer using this dense buffing brush. Now I'm just going to repeat the process for anybody who missed it the first time. If you don't have a steady hand, this is a good way to help you with that. All you have to do is take your thumb and lift up the client's eyebrow, and that should make your hand as steady as possible. And you'll get a way more clean look because you can get, you know, all the way up under that eyebrow. You won't miss nothing. For her eyeshadow base, I'm going to be going in with my P. Louise base. The shade name will be in the description box down below. But I'm just going to take this base and pat it all over her lids. Mm -hmm. 
if you don't have this base you do not have to purchase it you can use LA Girl Pro Concealer just because to me it's not really much of a big difference I'm just using this because I had it now for my first shade I'm gonna be taking this kind of terracotta orange shade and just patting it on we're gonna pat it on first and then lightly swirl around the edges just to blend them out and I'm gonna be taking this color all the way to the front of her eyebrows and as you work your way to the front you want to have a much lighter hand than what you initially had when you applied it to the back so as you work to the front make sure you lighten your grip now I'm taking this rich brown shade and it's on a denser brush and I'm just patting it on I'm going to be using the same technique but I'm basically patting it all over the first shade that we use Yes, look at that blend, honey. Okay, I'm about to go back in with the P. Louise base and use it to cut the crease. I am doing a full cut crease in this video, and it's like the oval cut crease, so I'm taking it all the way down. With this step, you just really want to take your time. It's not a way that I can describe it to make it more easier. I would just say when if you have a difficult time cutting a crease get a smaller more detailed flat brush don't get a big brush just get a small one and as you can see once i have it cut how i like it i just fill it in with that base and then i repeat the same step After I have both eyes cut to perfection, I'm going to blend out that excess concealer. Then I'm going to go in with my first shade, which is a shimmering white. And we're only going to take this in the tear ducts of her eyes. And to pat it on, I'm using this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Now I'm going to use my finger to apply this gold eyeshadow the rest of the way. I can use a brush too, but it's just much more pigmented when you use your finger. So I'm going to go in with my fingers first and then use a brush for the edges of the cut crease. So I can make sure I get every nook and cranny. Yeah, please excuse my hair. I wore it down, so you may see it in a few clips. But I'm going to take these two pigments, one from P. Louise and one from Be Perfect. And we're going to use the Be Perfect one first because it mimics the shimmering white shade. And I'm just going to pat it everywhere that we put the first eyeshadow. And I'm using the same brush as well. And then I'm going to go in with a gold pigment from P. Louise. And I'm going to pat it everywhere that we applied the gold. These pigments are going to serve as like a base for underneath our glitters just so our glitter can shine more. Now I'm going to take these two glitters, the white iridescent one and the gold one from the glitter stack. And first I'm going to be applying some glue to her eye as you can see. And then I'm going to take that white fine glitter and apply it everywhere that we put the shimmering white. Taking this more so on a flat synthetic brush. Now I'm going to take that gold glitter and apply it to the remainder of her eye and I decided to use another e.l.f. eyeshadow brush for this. Before I add my last glitter, I'm going to go ahead and line her eyes using my wet and wild black liquid liner as you can see i wanted to do a wing so that's what i did i wanted it to be very long and sharp
and this is what my liner is looking like yes ma'am so for my last glitter i'm gonna be taking this lava bliss glitter from mermaid scales usa on instagram and i'm just gonna randomly pat it along her eyes basically putting it in every spot where we apply the fine glitter and as you can see it is giving us very much perfection okay now i'm gonna take this wipe and clean off whatever eyeshadow fallout or glitter fallout we had before we start our foundation routine then i'm gonna take that pond's moisturizer and use it to moisturize her face even though her skin is already perfect basically and once i have it nice and moisturized i'm going to go ahead and apply her lashes these lashes were a random pair of lashes that I ordered off AliExpress, but they weren't 25 millimeters or anything. I didn't want to go too big with the lash because if I did, then you wouldn't be able to see the work that I put in on the eyeshadow. And baby, I did a lot of work, so y'all need to see it, period. But I like to place the eyelash on, then have them open their eyes just so I can make sure none of the glue transferred to her bottom lash line. Now I'm going in with my Calamine lotion and using it to prime her skin. This is just going to ensure that none of the sweat or oils from her face prevails through her foundation. So yeah, y'all know I already like to go in with this step. I tried to have a light hand in this video just because in the last video, girl, my hand was heavy with that Calamine lotion. But yeah, I just went in with a thin layer. And for her foundation, I'm going to be using my Fit me matte poreless foundation in the color spicy brown and just applying it to her skin as you can see this is like the perfect match I'm going to be applying this all over her face. Make sure you do not forget the jawline. And to blend out this foundation, I'm going to be using my Real Technique sponge and just pressing it into her skin. Fortunately, my camera cut off on a small bit of the highlighting portion, so this is where I'm starting off to highlight her face. I'm using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Biscuit, and I'm taking this concealer on the edge of her eyeshadow and her liner just to clean them up and make them as sharp as possible. And we're just going to let that concealer sit, and I'm going to go in and contour her face using my Black Opal Foundation Stick and the color black walnut and i'm just gonna dot this along her face then i'm gonna blend it out using my real technique sponge and i'm using the same side of my sponge that i use to blend out my foundation just so everything can appear seamless I'm going to take a little bit more of that Fit Me foundation and use it to clean up under the contour. Now I'm just going to proceed to blending out the highlight and if you're following the same exact procedure as me, you want to make sure you flip your sponge over to a clean side before you start blending out the highlight.
After all of the highlighted areas are blended out, I'm going to take a little bit of the foundation and apply it to the edges of her nose. This is going to serve as like a natural contour but for the actual contour. So yeah, I'm just going to press that in and to set all the highlighted areas, I'm going to be using my Fit Me Press powders and I'm just going to lightly pat them in using my sponge of course. I like to take the edge of my sponge and use it to set around the edge of the eyeshadow that we cleaned up. And once that's finished, I'm going to take my MAC Dark Deep Powder and use it to set the perimeter of her face. To set the contour areas, I'm going to be using my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Ebony. And I'm just going in with the same brush that I used to set the perimeter of her face. Now I'm going in with blush from my Julia's Place to Hiram palette and I'm mixing the orange blush and the burgundy blush together and just lightly patting them on her cheeks. I'm taking that Black Radiance Press Powder and using it to contour her nose. I'm going to take my Fenty Loose Powder in the shade Honey and use it to clean up under her contour. I'm also going to take that powder and apply it to the sides and the bridge of her nose. I'm using a q-tip to line her eyes with this black gel liner. I decided that I wanted to add a small pop of color so I'm taking this navy blue eyeshadow and just applying it to her lower lash line. I swept the powder away off camera, so now I'm just going in and setting her face using my setting spray. Y'all know I like to drown a face. Then I'm just going to fan it with one of the packagings from my palette. And before it's all the way dry, I'm going to go over it with my Real Technique sponge and just press everything in place. And then I'm going to highlight her skin using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Glow Kit. And I wanted to go for a light highlight today. Y'all know I love for my clients to smile just so I can find the apples of their cheeks and make sure the glow hits them there.
gonna take my finger and use it to apply a little bit of the highlighter to the tip of her nose and then I'm just gonna blend it out using that fluffy brush now I'm on the last step y'all I'm gonna start lining her lips using my LA colors dark brown eyebrow pencil y'all know I love this pencil but I am doing an eyebrow lip so I'm gonna outline the lips first and then go back in and lightly fill in the edges In the center of her lips, I'm going to be taking this high shine lip gloss from LA Colors and just applying it. I like to apply the lip gloss and then tell my clients to pat their lips just because it makes it a little bit easier to blend out. And this is basically the finished look everything is pressed and blended we are about to get into the grand reveal so i'm gonna just let y'all watch <laughs> oh my god period that's be your party <laughs> <laughs> yes period <laughs> So as y'all can see, she loved her makeup and now I'm just showing y'all the finished result. As y'all can see, she got two good sides, baby. We don't have no bad sides. We got two good sides. And this is the client video that I took. If you would like to see more client videos, just go to my Instagram. But this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me. Bye-bye, queens.